Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Rosero Network. I am Dan. I am joined by Rich. Hi, Rich. Hello. How's it going? Not too bad, thank you, man. How are you? Great. All the better for seeing this wonderful gameplay footage right here. Exactly. This is WRCA. It's mm. out in September. Uh, we went hands-on recently uh, to check out how it's coming along. Obviously, it's been a two-year... Well, it will have been two years uh, yeah. since the last one. Um, so, yeah, they're kind of... I guess they decided they needed, like... More time to create a better game. So it's been two years. Two years, yeah. To be no honest, seven was two years ago, Rich. God, I didn't feel two like it. Years. Time flies. Um, I don't think we reviewed that one, did we? Like no. We've reviewed all the other ones, like you have, right? Five and six, yeah. I say I've all done. the other ones, but yeah, like five and six. That well, I think the others were PS2 games. Really? In my, in my defence, I believe so, because it used to be Evolution, didn't it? Who had the WRC license? So this is that you know far more about uh, the franchise than I do. And then they went off to do motorsport and that, and said Sodja, and then Drive Club and that, and then Kyloton Games, isn't it now? Who uh, do this? I have no idea. Thing. <laughs> French, they're a French developer. Yes, yeah. they are. Correct. Yeah. Um, yeah, the two of the chaps came in to uh, show us off the game, uh, talk about uh, the new weather systems and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like dynamic weather. Yeah. So this is the same race. Um, okay. It started nice and sunny, and mm -hmm. then it's now the storm's picking up. Right. Further you get into the thing, and it's not scripted either. So if you stood still uh, at the beginning, uh, yeah. it'll just eventually become stormy. Right. So I guess if you're a better driver... Uh, on races like this where it's stormy towards the end yeah uh, you would probably get away with the worst of the storm right maybe I think that's how it works <laughs> uh, but yeah so they've, um, they've done a lot uh, in terms of physics to um, well basically improve it um, mm -hmm. after the last iteration and uh, there's a lot of campaign stuff sorry career stuff yeah. that we're going to see shortly um, this is Argentina yeah uh, that was Argentina now uh, because I've just come back from Sardinia I was like, oh, I want to race in Sardinia. The weather was not like this when I was in Sardinia. The, and the it was rain on the lens is mad. Yeah, right? And it was super hard to control and to see. Um, but yeah, like, so this is Sardinia. Uh, as you can see, like, um, it's not the easiest to drive. No. So I reversed this one. This was storm, starts stormy, right. uh, and gets brighter uh, and okay. clears up the further Lovely. you go in the course. Well, no, over a certain period of time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, you know what, handling-wise, I thought it was all right, you know. Yeah. I thought it was all right. Uh, it's been criticised over the years, um, right? It's yeah. not been kind of up to speed with other uh, rally games, um, no names yeah. I mean, um, mentioned. But yeah, it, it, was, <coughs> it sort of never really delivered, quite delivered as a sim and wasn't sort of accessible enough for casual race fans. Yeah, right, so this is the same... Uh, race just further on yeah. as you see it stopped raining like there's still puddles and stuff like the sun's come out um, but yeah going back to that point uh, the two chaps um, that were talking to me were basically saying uh, that, that they're trying to make it more simmy this time okay so um, it's really tough uh, I expect these games to be tough yeah so that's nothing new but I, I find it really tough especially um, I didn't really race in any conditions that weren't stormy um, right. so I was always off the track and stuff um, which is great but yeah you know what handling wise I thought oh, you know what this, this is alright okay. this is alright but Rich this is the um, revamped career uh, mm -hmm. so this time right you've got instead of because the career used to be just race race yeah. race race and yeah. uh, now you've got crew management you've got calendar management uh, and you've got um, there's another one but we'll come on to it oh and like stats R&D right. management yeah. uh, but this is like your crew um you hire people, you can hire like mechanics and they give you better stats on the right. Uh, you can hire meteorologists, which give you more accuracy in the weather. So if you've got a shit meteorologist, <laughs> you could get the weather wrong and you can have ah. the wrong tires on and it could screw you over. Um, but yeah, I've, all this costs money as well. Mm -hmm. So you've got like a wage budget that you have to manage. Right. And then this is your, your R&D and you have to decide what you want to put points into and you get points by mm. doing... We'll have a look at the, what you can do to get points, uh, yeah. XP and stuff. But you can basically level up, um, add engineer slots, you can add meteorologists. Like you can't do everything mm -hmm. so you have to kind of pick and choose right. like are you going for performance are you going for reliability are you going for the, for the crew are you looking at the team um so it kind of adds a new dynamic to it you have to manage the morale yeah um, for instance which you can see on the bottom which is at the plus nine. Oh yeah uh, but also you have to manage your calendar in your calendar yeah you've got training events uh, you've got like these kind of cool mini events like the extreme conditions we'll see one shortly mm -hmm. and of course you've got the rally events 
so you can obviously you can do some training you get XP for that right. uh, you can do events like that some of them kind of improve your standing with manufacturers some of them give you cash as well that you can then yeah. spend on crew uh, you can rest your crew to, to kind of improve the morale um, but yeah this is like one of the training ones basically um, and then as soon as you go over the line it starts and you've got to get a certain thing and obviously the, the higher you finish the more kind of impressed your team is the morale goes up um, your manufacturer standing goes up um, so yeah like you can do this to basically get XP as well so this is like a, a training event it's only short 30 seconds um, this is the easiest one uh, and it being the easiest one um, yeah like it's it's you very easy it. to know. You Even it. yeah, uh, I will oh, disclaimer. Yeah. This was not me playing it. This uh, specific thing. I thought it but, looked too good. But <laughs> the next one uh, mm -hmm. is is pretty nuts. So we, we, as you see now, like um, then you get your your experience okay. and stuff, and then your morale. One morale, so that's nice, good. Nice. Um, but the next thing where the, we we kind of get to have a little look at is an extreme event. Okay. Uh, and it's like extreme weather conditions. So you pass it and you get money, um, but it's really hard. Right. Uh, like you'll see in a matter of seconds that um, basically it's pitch black. Um, you've, all you've got is your headlights. Uh, and on top of your headlights, you've got it's pissing it down with rain. <laughs> it's um, so just before I, you get mm. a mechanic. Yeah. That's why I left that long pause in. Okay. Because um, you get a mechanic. Because uh, it's like you go to a new area and you meet somebody on the track and then you can basically employ them. Okay. Um, but yeah, so the extreme weather, it's dark, it's wet, uh, and your brakes are screwed as well. Brilliant. So um, <laughs> Great. Here it is. It's wow. absolutely tough. But it's really cool because it's like a mini event. It's like you've got 34 seconds to sort do Sort of like this a course. scenario. Kind of yeah, thing. it really yeah. is. And right. it, it's, it's really cool in kind of that respect. Because uh, like your brakes, are, like as you see in the bottom left, you see the sure. red on yeah. the um, on the brakes. So you kind of have to you have to manage that. You have to manage the weather. You have to manage the lack of visibility mm -hmm. uh, and stuff like that. And uh, I will say, spoiler, uh, I didn't do it. But this is my best attempt, which was pretty good. But I braked too late for that uh, because like I wasn't. I was going quite fast. And like, look at that. How annoying is that? How annoying is that? Oh, no. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 off. I put the brakes on too late because yeah. uh, they were knackered. Like in any other car, you would have slowed yeah, down. Yeah, of course. But yeah, I screwed it up. But uh, yeah, and, and just to finish, uh, just a bit of a Monte snow. Carlo in the uh, in the snow. Um, nice. Cockpit. And the really cool thing as well, like there's these options in it where you can customize the view so mm -hmm. you can change the field of view okay. you can kind of you can come back from there you can move forward so there's loads of kind of customizable stuff Whoops. Uh, in it yeah i was getting a little bit too fast there but this is it because like this is a really narrow course at the beginning yeah uh, and this is the first time that i actually got to race without the rain i guess so i was like okay this is easy i can, I can gun it but yeah obviously that isn't um <laughs> the case but yeah, like handling wise, you know, it's not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad at all. Um, now, yeah, I, d I don't, I don't think it's like perfect, but I can't criticise it massively. Yeah. Uh, it is a very hardcore game, mm. um, and like I haven't played the other one, so I can't really compare it to anything. Yeah, well, I mean, six was the last one I played, and I found that really tough. Six. Like, like oh, we yeah, didn't do WRC seven, did we? six, yeah, because we didn't do seven, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd be interested to see what sort of options there are for people who aren't very good like me. Yeah, well, yeah, for sure. But I think there's probably less because they're moving towards the, the simi kind of. They're setup. embracing that side of yeah. it. Yeah, right. But like, you know what? Like this, I'd only played it for like half hour, mm -hmm. um, in like various races, and I, I definitely felt I got better. There's loads of training exercises and stuff you can do uh, that teaches you skills that you need, like handbraking around corners, and, like yeah. hairpins and stuff, and what line and where you should be in terms of jumps and stuff. And then the more you play it, the more you listen to the um, uh, your co-driver and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but like the, the the road opened up here, Rich, and it doesn't end very well for me because I'm like, right, I can gun this now. Just put the foot down. Just do some crazy uh, stuff. So uh, spin out. I was clearly I know, taking that. You styled it. You styled yeah, it out. But we don't. Um, 
and we'll see in the next 20 seconds uh, before the end of the video. But yeah, that's WRC8. That yep. is out in September. Um, there we Way go. Um, nice. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Cheers, folks. Bye. Bye. 20, flat right into left six, narrows, 150 for finish.